Hello, I'm Lewis Capaldi, and uh, I'm going to be drawing a, a, a new version of, or a terrible version of my album cover. I don't even know where to start. I'm going to do a lot of red writing on this. I had an idea for the title, which is the title that we ended up using. We worked with an amazing photographer called Alexandra Gap. And I'd, I be, believe it's pronounced Cavilli because I think it's French. But if it isn't, I'm very sorry. She's incredible and I've, I'd worked with her before on some stuff and she's done so many amazing artists, which is what I am, of course, as you'll be able to tell by the end of this. And um, and yeah, she was just incredible and she had this, this kind of idea for this weird kind of dystopian cloud type vibe. And it seemed to turn out pretty well. The album title is divinely uninspired to a hellish extent just because I just kind of, I feel like a lot of album titles and a lot of yeah, new albums and stuff like that, especially from new singers, can be very, um, like either like a, a, the album's like the name of the person or the trees and the, and the birds and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? It's like stuff like that. So I just wanted something to, to have a complete opposite. And I couldn't, I thought, yeah, naming the album something negative sounding by saying it's divinely uninspired was, was a kind of cool way to come. The, not the dystopian thing, the dystopian thing kind of works with the album title in that it all kind of looks, it kind of looks like I'm in the opposite of what you would imagine heaven to be. Like there's clouds there and stuff like that, but it's like all very red and all kind of gloomy looking, which kind of matches the music as well in the sense that it's all fucking depressing. This is looking great. When that first song came out and it was like a big thing and everything, it was like cool. But none of it's like tangible and none of it means anything really. Um, which is, again, goes back to the album being called Divinely Uninspired to Hell's Extent. Right, your song comes out and it does really fucking well. And that day you're fucking the thing and you're like hot shit and it's like fucking amazing, this is it. And then like two weeks later, or a few, a few months later, you might release another song that doesn't do so well and people are like, well, he fucked that. So I just, I just kind of realised quite quickly that it, it didn't really, there was nothing. Hype is just, it's just a fucking, there's nothing. The only tangible thing for me, the only like real thing in playing, the only real thing in, <laughs> in music is like playing live, to be, to be honest, just because I think that's the thing where there's people who are coming to your shows and are, and are paying money to see you and singing your songs with you. That's the only thing that matters. That and, and making lots of money. <laughs> This is looking fucking terrible. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh god. And then a... How do fucking people do this for a living? It's a, it's, it's, it's a... Okay. Here's my body. Legs. And I think I'm, I think I'm finished. And I don't want to speak too soon. But... I think it might be the best drawing that's ever been drawn. In no way does this represent how good the songs are on the album. I promise you I'm better at singing than I am at drawing. Here's my album cover. Divinely uninspired to a hellish extent. Out May 17th. Make sure you go, make sure you go buy it. And the, the, yeah, this isn't great. I know this looks bad. But the album's very good. We really, I really fucking tried hard. So anybody who who has anything to say about it, I can fight them. <laughs>